Welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at um, something inside of Massive I get questions about all the time. What the heck is the little SC box? Well, let's take a look at what we're even talking about first. Right here, this little SC under the modulation assignment blocks. You can see that there are these dashes under a couple of them, and then here we see SC. Well, SC actually stands for sidechain. Um, and this can be a little bit confusing at first because we're not actually porting a signal in from outside of Massive, but we need to remember that sidechain basically just means we're porting a, a, a signal in from somewhere, okay? Um, and that's all it means. So when, uh, when I'm first describing how this actually functions uh, to people, I often explain how I feel that we should maybe call this slave control because it does set up a master-slave relationship between two different modulators, and that's an important concept to grasp. So let's just run through how this works. I'm going to route our oscillator to filter one. We're not gonna worry about what our oscillator sound is, or what kind of sound is actually being produced by our oscillator. And we're just going to put a filter on this and I'm going to uh, assign LFO 5 to the cutoff of uh, filter 1. So that should sound like this. So I'm going to do a couple things here. I'm going to turn up our volume on our main amp envelope. I'm also going to speed up the rate of modulation on this LFO. And that's just so we can hear the effect a little bit better. Perfect. All right, uh, now what we're gonna do is uh, actually look at what the sidechain control does. So I am going to use a macro control uh, for this example, just because it's so simple. Uh, now, if I was to drop that here, I could by default without doing anything else, only really click up and around here, um, which is going to create a modulation range for my macro control to operate in. In other words, if I was to play this back right now, um, my LFO is always going to be active. It's always going to be creating this little wobble. Uh, but if I turn my macro knob now, that's in effect turning the cutoff knob itself up and around. So that would sound like this. And that is not the effect we're going for. So what I'm going to do is take away that modulation range that I just created. And instead, I'm just going to click on the little SC under that box. And you can see that it just turned white. Now, under the, the first two modulation assignment slots, uh, there are just these little white dashes. And if I click on this one, you'll see that we get an upward facing arrow. If I click on it again, it faces down. What this is speaking to is the directionality uh, control uh, of our side chain um, uh, modulator, okay? So let's talk through this. I'm gonna set this up with the upward facing arrow first, okay? That means that when I press and hold a note now, I actually don't hear anything. And the reason is, is because our cutoff is turned all the way down and my, my macro is now controlling my LFO effect. So in other words, as I turn up macro one, I'm gonna start hearing that wobble disclosed and I'm also gonna start hearing the cutoff uh, being turned up. Right? Very cool. It gives you quite a bit of control. Now, if you have this in the downward position, this little arrow, that means that we've just inverted the relationship that our sidechain controller has uh, with our uh, LFO1 or our LFO5 in the number one modulation assignment slot. So in other words, with macro one all the way down now, we will hear the full effect of our LFO. But as I turn it up, we'll hear it dissipate. Okay. Now, why in the world do we need that kind of control? Um, maybe it's, it's because if we have uh, something else happening, like a different LFO. Okay, so now that I've dropped uh, LFO 6 in here, I am just going to create a modulation range. So now uh, LFO 5 and 6 are set up to modulate uh, the cutoff of filter 1 in equal measure. Uh, but macro one is now going to start with the square wave. And as we turn it up, we're gonna transition into the sine wave that is modulating our filter cutoff. And you can hear that these two things, they aren't even synced. Maybe we should sync these really quick for this example. We'll just do 16th notes, on both of them. 
and you can hear this again. So it's a pretty smooth transition from sine wave to square wave and vice versa as we now turn this macro control. So that's what SC stands for, sidechain. That's all it means. Um, although when you're first starting out, think of it as slave control because really what you're doing is you're controlling these modulators with whichever modulator you've put into the sidechain slot. And those modulators also include any of these macro controls, including the velocity, key tracking, um, aftertouch, and trigger random effects. Um, so I hope that clears things up. I hope you understand exactly what SC stands for. Again, it means sidechain. Hopefully you can put it to use in your very next project. Don't forget if you have requests for us for future tutorials to drop us a line or leave a comment below letting us know what you think. Thanks again for tuning in, folks. We'll see you again soon. Cheers. If you're a music producer, subscribe to our channel and stay up to date on the latest PureMind tutorial videos, trash breakdowns, elite sessions, and more. Visit us at puremind.com. Thank <laughs> you.